Eva Marcel cooks casserole for the kids. So, um, I'm gonna normalize making house sandwiches again. I don't know about y'all, but I'm at home with all my kids. It is what it is. And they gotta eat. And so do I. And I might make, feel like making gourmet meals all day. I'll make a house sandwich on your butt in a heartbeat. Yup, you got your lettuce, tomatoes, your pickles, your cracked pepper turkey, your cheese, a little kettle barbecue chip. And in um, ginger ale with lemonade. Such is it. I'm going on a date night, so I eat fancy later. But I just want to normalize being normal since everybody is like Instagram flexing and making you think you're supposed to be always doing something grand. It's cool to be regular degler. Okay, so what did you guys get? I thought Terrell sent all this cool stuff. Everybody got their own face mask. Yeah. In case everyone got their size. Can you open this for me, Mom? We're not going anywhere yet. I think we have one already open. Like this. And it adjusts at your ears so it doesn't hurt your ears. Put it on. Give me this one. This is for your nose part. Very good. Put it, oh, look at you, buddy. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, Uncle Terrell. Thank you, Uncle Terrell. Marley got her pack. You got all your cute colors. Where's yours? This one yours? All your cute colors? And I got also Mikey's. Got pink. Oh, you got and pink. Also, this, this one's Marley. I also Thank you. Marley. The nanny is here. And mommy is off. <sighs> Today was a day. What up, y'all? Blessings on your afternoon, this beautiful Friday as we slide into Memorial Day. How y'all feeling? I'm feeling good, I'm feeling accomplished. Today was a very overwhelming day for the kids. All my kids are home, because teachers are having what they call an in-service day. And just for the, um, shout out to all the teachers out there, but I don't understand what the fuck that is. Because Monday's a holiday anyway, and we pay for these kids to go to some schools. Certain schools do. So I don't know what this in-service stuff is, but whatever. It left me home with this one. You stuck? You stuck? Just get unstuck. Is that better? This one right there. Say hello to the world. Hi. Hi to the world. Trying to wake Mikey up. Now, the reason why I feel accomplished is because I did my work jobs today. So we still did that, which means, yes, I was up at the fives of them this morning, right? So that went down. But I see Chef Jen in the building. Shout out to uh, Chef Janisha Payne. I'm here because I decided to make a casserole. I don't know about y'all, but it's casserole. So my Aunt Leslie is the queen of tuna casserole. We ate it growing up. She made it better than anybody. I mastered her tuna casserole. However, I decided, what if I didn't do tuna casserole, but I made it a chicken casserole? Same situation, change the meats. So that's what I did. Hold up, I'm gonna let y'all see what's popping. So we on broil at this point because we getting that cheese right up top. I'm gonna show you what had happened. Y'all see what had happened. And I feel accomplished because I had kids all day and I cooked. Hold on. Kids is happy nanny here. They don't realize I'm the happiest. Hey gorgeous, how you doing today? Good. Finish these children some dinner, honey. I was on the way to their school and, uh, and I was like, something is. No, <laughs> I've been up with these children since 6 a.m. while I work. That part, it's been real. It's been real. And I still managed to make lunch and dinner. Okay. I know. Feeling real accomplished today, y'all. That's Miss Rowe. That's the world's best nanny in the world. I call her my left leg, but y'all would understand it as a nanny. I'll turn this shit off. Cancel. Turn the light off. All right. 
But yeah, we on. So no, so I'm gonna show y'all my little casserole. I made a little, um, I usually make a tuna casserole, but I said I didn't. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna do a chicken casserole. So, Mikey's in uh, the guest room. I'm trying to get him out of there. He was on timeout because he uh, didn't know how to use his feet as feet and keep them on the flow. So I'm a little tuna casserole. Well, chicken casserole, as you can say. So some peas in there. Got some macaroni, got some cheese. I did cream of celery. A um, couple little special ingredients. Never go wrong with some little Hawaiian bread. Uh, and kids like the Hawaiian roll, so we got that on on top. We can't put no cuts. It's for the kids. It's the kids' food. I'm about to go out to dinner with my husband and do our date night. But I did make a casserole. And I feel like people not making casseroles enough. We ain't roasting chicken enough. It's just lemon pepper. We ain't making casseroles. I last thing, I don't know when last time I seen the salmon croquette. I'm just saying. I want to normalize the food we grew up on. Warmed up a little bit of Hawaiian bread. Eve, boom. Cooking without sharing is trauma. Okay, so I boiled some elbow pasta. Not al dente, but not like all the way, all the way down, because I knew I would have to bake it. Um, I boiled that with some olive oil and some Himalayan salt. Drain that. Uh, rinse it off with some cold water, right? Put that in a bowl. And I got some super, super sharp cheddar cheese from Tillamook because I'm that girl. I got a can and a half of cream of celery. I took some onions, cut them up, caramelized that with this Cajun seasoning that I like make. And then um, I got some frozen peas from a bag. We're putting all of this in one bowl. Um... What else I put in there? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Season it on up. Oh, my chicken. The chicken, shred your chicken, pull it apart. Put your chicken in there and push everything. Um, stir it all up, stir it all up. Just so you know the evidence. This is the bowl that we started up in because I'm a clean cook. That's the strainer from the pasta. The pot from the pasta. And... The skillet from the caramelized onions. Just so y'all know, we ain't planning on game. Because some people plan like they cook, they don't really cook. And some people will uh, show you their food. You know what the hell is that? So, yeah, that happened. So, it's Friday night. Friday is usually pizza night. But I let my pizza kids have pizza on Wednesday. So, we ain't doing pizza twice in a week. So, instead, we're going to go ahead with a. Um... You ready? Look at him. You ready to get in this chair? You ready to eat? You got a snack up right there. Eat your bar. Eat your bar. Why you give me all this drama? Why you doing all of that? What you, what you doing? It's a lot. Don't drop the bar on the ground, my ch Jesus of Nazareth. Here, let me give you another bar. We got more bars. We got more bars. Here. Lord have mercy. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I don't know about y'all. I'm out here living this real life. They be doing this Instagram flex life where everything we having sparkles on and everything. We no, we give it to you like it is the truth. Okay, I'm young, three kids, and one of them in second grade. But thank you. No five second rules. And the lady just came. I let her come once a week. She come and do the deep cleaning. Now it's my job to maintain, which is why after clean cooking dinner, the kitchen. It's not a hot mess because I don't play the reindeer games. I see my son fly. <laughs> I know it's real. Which one? You going to throw that other one in the trash? Go ahead. Good job, buddy. Throw it in the trash. Open it up. Open it up. Throw it in there. All right. Close it. Watch your fingers. All right. Come put your hands over here. Let's put your hands off. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. You know you like it. Come on. Put your hands up. Come on. Put your hands in. Whoa, good job, Ann. Come on. Whoa, good job. I teach him young, child. All right, come here. Just rinse your hands off. Wipe your hands off. All right, tappy tap. You good? You want to sit in this chair? Cause I'm gonna think I need you to be stationary. How you wiping your eyes? You just woke up. You want snack? Are you on cuppy? Get cuppy. Oh, you got him? 
So, Cruella de Vil is coming out, the new make of it. So, everybody been watching the Dalmatians. Drop it again, drop it again, and we not drinking no milk. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's something on your foot. What is that? Let me help you get it off. Oh, I got it, we on. He, I tried to wake him up from a second ago. Mikey, time to get up, buddy bud. You gotta have some dinner. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Mikey, see if you don't wake up right now, then you're gonna be asleep all later. Time to get up. What's this? That was Mikey's uh, chocolate milk from earlier. You want some chocolate milk? Who's wearing me out? I made him sit there and watch a Scientology documentary. You want some chocolate milk? I got you. What? Are you all right? You be good. Yeah. You want some chocolate milk? No. No? My life. Thanks for tuning in to Newborn Arrival.